So the block system in the SPC has two options. Fully manual, which is three points on the head, three points on the body, left, center, and right, that you can block by holding down the right trigger and moving the right stick. There's a semi-automatic mode as well, which will require you to block either the head or the body. We feel by having both of these options, players who want a deeper simulation can select the manual mode, whilst the players who prefer for a more arcade feel can select the semi-automatic mode instead. What's going on champs? My name is TMA Prezi and this video is about the blocking systems. Um, as we know, uh, ESBC have implemented two kind of options that people can use for blocking. You've got your auto block, which you could just pick to block high and block shots coming low to the body. Then you've got the more simulated mode, which is for um, manual blocking. So if you don't know what that is, that's basically you've got three points blocking up to the head, which will be holding up your earmuffs one, blocking slightly to the left, meaning you, you bring your right, your right glove slightly down. And then the opposite, vice versa, blocking to the right, dropping the left glove ever so slightly. And it's the same with the body, keeping both elbows tucked in, bringing your gloves down. Then you've got um, parrying um, shots with your elbows to the left side, meaning your right side's going to be slightly open. And vice versa, bringing your right elbow down to parry shots coming from that side and leaving your left side slightly open as well. I wanted to discuss um, the auto and manual blocking systems for the game because I believe uh, it's a make or break system. I believe it's something that can define the game in, in the sense of skill gaps or it could be, on the other hand, something that's totally irrelevant and unnecessary for people to use. And here's why. So if the effects of an auto block and manual blocking are both the same, you're not really given a reason for people to want to use that manual blocking as they don't get rewarded for any um they don't get rewarded anything for using it however if these kind of things that i'm about to kind of dig into are implemented within each blocking system the auto and manual then this game can really be something special because one thing we are lacking for like competitive gaming overall is being rewarded for using your iq it's being rewarded for outthinking somebody or you know d playing the game correctly or being that smarter person right so let's say esbc were to add pros and cons for both sides right you might it might want to entice people to kind of use the manual blocking to be rewarded for how they use it and this is an example for both sides pros and cons if i was someone to use the auto block just high and low um the pro for that would be you know if i was to block up then cool sure i'll be blocking all sorts of punches from straight punches to hooks and uppercuts okay um and the same with the body if i was to block low it should do what it says on the tin block low however the con for the auto block should be that obviously i'm using the auto block so if i'm not going to use the extra mile of using the manual block and using the angles on the block to block left and right high and low um i shouldn't be able to get any kind of big windows of countering uh, my opponent back after catching a nice shot because i can't lean left and right as we are using the auto block at this stage and there shouldn't be a higher vulnerability window now this is where the skill gap is really gonna show because we can put two pros and cons for the manual block in it as well believe it or not and this is again going back to when i was saying this is something that esports and the competitive uh sports scene uh, or competitive gaming sports scene really needs and has been lacking since maybe since it ever started let's start off with the pro uh, the cons if i was to raise my right glove up and drop my left glove then i would have to pay a price you know obviously my guard is still up but i would like the bleed through damage or the effectiveness of my opponent's punch 
to to deal me more damage or kind of stop me in my tracks a little bit or you know break through that block ever so slightly right so that will be the cons if i miss time something if i use the manual blocking at the wrong angles at the wrong time then i'll pay a heavier heavier price than someone using the auto block but this is the beauty now if i'm someone that used the manual blocking and blocked at an angle whatever angle if a left hook came in and i blocked at the right angle at the right time i should be rewarded something that someone using the auto block wouldn't get and that's a, a window of opportunity to counter with a crispy hook uppercut or straight shot and get that extra vulnerability window to make them pay the price of a clean counter shot i believe this is going to show the skill gap with people you know competing against each other in esports or online ranked and it's really gonna um want to entice people to you know push that extra mile in the competitive scene to be able to practice and learn the manual blocking right and talking about ranked i think this is crucial as well so let's say we was to talk about online ranked and auto and manual blocking i believe esbc mentioned that you get the option to choose i don't know whether they've decided if that's going to be the case in online ranked however if it is the case on online ranked this is my personal opinion i feel very strong about this two different scenarios let's say um esports boxing club was to implement the pros and cons for each blocking systems that i've mentioned that's cool so i've got no bones to pick with people being able to choose what system they want to use while going in on online rank because there is that balance there if i'm 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 fighting someone that's using an auto block and i'm using the manual block i can you know i can use my iq i can use that skill gap to um find the clean counters the window of vulnerability uh as well to make them pay so i wouldn't be worried too much that they're using the auto block because they wouldn't have the same effects and rewards that i would if i was someone using the manual block right now let's use the second scenario the second scenario would be let's say they didn't throw pros and cons on each side and they made it equally the same um this is what's gonna be a bit of a, a problem because one may a lot of people won't be enticed to use the manual block and there will be a handful of people that you know like to get that simulation feel and use their brain cells a little bit more and push you know their their competitive competitiveness to uh, you know to the next limit if they didn't add the pros and cons and literally made both blocking systems effectively the same and you was allowed to pick between either or in online ranked there would be absolutely no point in actually going with the manual blocking system um it would be completely pointless it would have been a whole waste uh of mechanics of time and effort put into the game by esbc because again effectiveness is the same between the auto and manual no one will feel enticed or bothered to even use it in ranked as you don't obtain any advantages um any rewards for using it so again it would literally just be completely pointless i mean if esbc did want this game to really be you know on a high skill gap and um competitive kind of scene and they don't implement pros and cons i mean there is something that else they can do to keep everything on an even playing field is where if someone did want to go on online ranked and use the auto block then that will only take you so far or furthermore you could only use that for so far in the online ranking world where if you hit a certain amount of points or division or ranking however they have their system then you are going to be forced to use the manual blocking so say you're at like 
division one or whatever is the highest division then you're going to be locked into manual blocking to keep everyone in an even playing field and rarely show the skill levels so whereas if it's something where you can use the auto block throughout your whole online ranking career kind of thing again this goes back to not enticing people or making it completely irrelevant and unnecessary for people to even use the manual blocking on online ranked which gets rid of the that unique competitive scene that i was mentioning at the start of this video something that we're severely lacking in esports um and i believe this is what can really push this game to a different level when it comes to competing for that esports belt um the esbc belt and even in you know in esports in general with all these leagues popping up uh across the net so it's go it's going to be interesting again i'm really looking forward man i'm highly anticipating this game guys let me know in the comment section your thoughts what you think on the auto block what you think on the manual block and what you think on my opinions of the pros and cons and esbc implementing them on ranking let me know in the comment section below i hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one and again if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit that like button and if you're already not subscribed to the channel i'd appreciate any subscriptions champs take care and appreciate for watching